Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're gonna take a look at domination. And the reason I wanted to talk about it today is I feel like it's become something that we take for granted. For those of you who are like me and have an account in the 40s or 30s or even in the 50s, domination has become just this easy, quick, we're done, no big deal event. But it can be a little bit more difficult for a lower level player. And I wanna talk about this style of event for newer players. Now, I do think, as always, when we do these events, it's good for everybody to kind of get their ear on it and really pay attention to what they're doing. Because as you go up, you'll learn that there are some ridiculously high costs for upgrading officers. You're talking about it talking at millions of XP just for officers to level them up. And we all know that ship XP is a pain in the butt and you can use things like Latinum to pay for it. But how do you go through domination and what should you focus on? And I think that, you know, as you level up, you'll find that there's easier ways to do this. For me, you know, at level 41 on my main account, I'll just pop through officer XP. But the only way that I'm able to really do that is I built up a surplus of officer XP by grinding in places like Tygo Core. But that's not really an option at level 20. I can't do that there. So what I end up having is if I, you know, open up my officers tab, you'll see my settings at the very top right. My XP is pretty low. And this is several weeks of going through it and purposely not upgrading officers. And what I mean by that is let's click my officer. So here's my Talon sitting at 16 out of 20, purposely not upgraded because I don't need to upgrade her anymore. I need to save that XP, but I did upgrade her for this event. She's also funny enough. The only one that I've got tier four, Chen is like tier two. And uh, if, if the game could decide to give me some RNG on Chen, that'd be great. Cause right now I'm not getting any. So if you go through here, you see like Cadet Scott sitting at 15 warp range, but I did him for stats. I got LaForge at 12 out of, and I've got Kirk at 10. And a lot of these I'm choosing to not dump into five out of 20 for Beverly Crusher intentionally not upgrading or simply saving a lot of those resources and then going for focusing on certain types of officers. Now, what I mean, certain types of officers, I want you to sort by rarity and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here's your, all your comments for the most part especially for newer players, but honestly, all players, unless you simply need to complete domination and you're out of officers, do not upgrade levels of these. You don't need their stats. The stats don't grow that high to really justify that cost. And for those who have it, whether you're a new player or experienced player, I would encourage you to check out tools like the officer tool. Now we'll be making some new updated videos on that tool to explain how it works and why it's so useful. Even though it's an Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet, I use the Google version because I'm a I'm an updated man. I'm a 21st century man. We don't use Excel. Okay, it's, it's really not different. Anyway, whatever you choose to use, it's a fantastic tool, and that's just me poking at Stewie who does all the coding because I don't have Excel. I'm cheap. That's that's the reason. I'm, okay, you caught me. That's the reason. I'm cheap. I didn't buy Excel. I use Google Sheets because it's free. So what you'll see is there's so many officers here that simply aren't worth bothering upgrading. And you can justify upgrading a Talon because, hey, I'm gonna use this officer and I need the stats that I can get. But even look here, 16 out of 20, but only 117 defense points. Now, if we go on that rarity ranking and let, let's just come down here to say, Stan, 125 at level five. So three tiers lower, but more of the main stat than what you have with Talon. This is the value of upgrading. You're getting more stats per XP spent than you are if you were to be doing it with your commons. And if you are a player that is, you know, going through these, you're gonna find that once you start getting to these very high levels, the cost becomes so high, you really wanna be picky and choosy. You're gonna regret spending 5 million XP willy nilly when you have this event that Domination says, yo, we're gonna need you to foot this bill real quick and here's what it's gonna cost you. And what I mean by that is here, we can switch to my other account real quick. Let's just swap over with the power of transitioning internet and take a look at level 41, what I need for domination. So I need 75,000 points on level 20. 21 levels higher, I need 1.5 million. That's a lot of points. I'm not sure if you're aware of how many points that is, but it's it's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. 1.5 million, a little bit larger. Just a little bit than 75,000. And for those that didn't catch it, because I don't think I showed it, Earlier, just transition on back to the level 20 account. And if I go over to the event, you see level 20 for me to finish domination, 
only 75,000, which is doable, but the way that you can, you know, acquire some of these resources is a little bit more difficult because I really don't bother with the research or the building part of this. Now, if you are curious how many points you get for various building upgrades, the short answer is docs, you know, or, or, the, or the best way to kind of go through that in terms of getting points. But in the first research, by the way, the first research in basically any box is going to give you a nice boost. But ftfc.space, uh, Ripper, another content creator, has this website that is just this. It's, honestly, it's great. It's a great tool for basically in everything. And if you want to see what each building will give you in terms of points for domination, it lists that on the website, but you have to go individually. Most people end up just going with officer or ship XP. Now, as I said before, you can use something like Latinum to then increase the amount of, you know, or use that to augment the ship XP because this is the hardest thing to get in the game. One of. There's a ton of things that are the hardest to get in this game. I don't know why, but this game is really hard to procure certain items. Really difficult. But what I'm saying is there's no way to just go get ship XP. Like you can't really go grind for it like you can officer XP. If you go to places like Tygo Core or if you go to the separatist systems as a low level player, you can grind officer XP decently in those systems. That's not an option for ship XP. So the 200,000 I have here is because I don't spend it. And that's just a drop in the bucket to what you need for like a ship to get to level 45, which will cost millions of ship XP. So you have to be very sparingly in how you throw this stuff around. And just to give a visual example of officer XP, of what it costs to, you know, go through that process here. Let me grab an officer of a decent tier. How about I grab Kumak real quick? Let's swap this on back. Transition. So this is 500,000 more than I've even got on my low level account just to promote him to tier five. And then it's going to cost millions to get him to level 25, which is okay. I mean, th that's not a bad thing. It's simply being aware of the cost of domination. And honestly, domination is just something, as I said at the beginning of this video, that gets really easy as a higher level player. It really does. You know, it's just, you, you start to be able to get some of this stuff and reasonably be able to put out as long as they're not running a ton of these events all over the place, which they haven't been, thankfully. But if you are a lower level player, you have to really be, you know, prudent in how you, you know, manage your resources so that you are going through the game in a pace that doesn't slow you down. You want to be able to move efficiently. And the efficient move is grinding with officer XP, but very particular in what you choose to upgrade it with. And if you are free to play, which this account, as you can see, is not free to play. It does have extra research, extra doc, but I am still trying to be an account that is not spending heavy. I mean, that account's been around like three months and it's only level 20. So it's not like I'm just, you know, blew up there in a day. I bought a couple of things. I bought a North Star, I bought the extra builder, and I bought a researcher. So you add that up, what? 50 bucks after taxes or whatever, what I've spent on this account, nothing insane. So if you're looking at it from that perspective, you have to then be very particular because you're not gonna be able to just go buy packs or you're not going to go buy packs of officer XP. And then I need to be very picky about what I'm upgrading. So what I'm focusing on is what is actually going to get used in away teams, what's going to get used on ships and what are the abilities of them? And what I mean by used on ships, look at something like eight of 11 and nine of 11. And I talked about these in a previous video, even though they're uncommon, I will use these in PVP as a low level player. Am I going to dump ridiculous amounts of resources into them? No, but they are worth upgrading and upgrading in terms of tearing up. Then you're going to run into things like active nano probes, independent credits. That's another issue with the game in terms of sourcing. Also it can be very difficult to slowly get through that process, but it's something that we all must do. But what I really wanted to just kind of reiterate here is you have four options for domination and how to complete it. The easiest option, easy being a very relative term, is officer XP. It's also the one that you can grind in the game and to give you a visual. I love visuals. It's my personality. I'm a little eccentric. Maybe I'm not eccentric. I don't know. I am wearing a suit to a YouTube video. So what does that say? Well, I'm actually going over to do more house stuff. So that's, that's what that is. But anyway, when I'm talking about separatist systems, if you aren't aware of what those are, you see, I haven't even explored them yet. Could be Koran, Earthak, or over in Romulan space, you've got Consina, Asuri, Rana Nur, or over in Federation space, you've got over here, Achilleon, Radaban, and Perleon. Those are called the separatist systems. Back in the very early of 2019, there was an event called the Separatist War, which was a basically a Klingon Civil War event that was really not well written and it wasn't very well done. It just was kind of like there and there was no like depth to it. It was just kind of, anyway, complaining about things from three years ago is not worth my time, even though I just did it. 
wasting your time. But those have pretty good drops when it comes to things like relocation tokens and officer XP, allowing you to then procure those at a better rate than maybe you normally were. And for those who are worried about rep grinding, they don't affect like your Klingon Romulan or Federation reps. You're not going to artificially lower it if you went and ground in those systems to go after and maybe use that to boost up ship XP, because that's what I do. I'm currently grinding out the XP of my North Star right now. I'm not going to spend XP on it. I'm going to continue to uh, save ship XP for the important ships. You know, I need my Vidar upgraded really quickly. I need my Stella upgraded so I can start scrapping it. That's what I'm shaving, saving ship XP for, not wasting it on my North Star, which I can just go out and grind doing my daily activities. But Officer XP, very, very particular in what you use to upgrade it with. And also keep in mind that as you're going through this process, I need you to do this. Comment on the video because I want to know what you think about the video. I want to know if you have any questions, especially if you are one of the newer players. And if you are watching, do me a huge favor. Share this out with every player in the game, whether you're new, old, or somewhere in between. I don't know. Shout out to the Dolphins, so I gave them a shout out the other day. And finally, last but not least, like the video. It looks like this. It's a thumbs up button. Live long and prosper, everybody. Stay safe out there, Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope it helps you and hopefully gives you an idea of uh, what you should be doing with Domination and maybe some places to go grind out if you did not know that you could grind Officer XP besides away teams, which I've been using the heck out of away teams to get Officer XP too. Y'all been amazing. I'm outie. Thank you. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.